Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Maddie Johnson with the National Weather Service Northern Indiana office. It is currently 3.10 p.m. on March 2nd, 2023. I want to take the next couple of minutes to bring you up to date on the latest forecast information concerning tomorrow's potential winter storm and heavy rainfall event. The system coming our way for late tonight into the day Friday is multifaceted, bringing multiple hazards to the area. A flood watch remains in effect from 7 a.m. Eastern on Friday to 12 a.m. Eastern on Saturday. A winter storm watch will go into effect from 10 a.m. Eastern to 12 a.m. Eastern Saturday. A large storm system will move through late Thursday night through Friday, and this will bring heavy rain with flooding concerns, wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour, and potentially heavy snow. Flooding is possible in areas which receive primarily rain from this storm and that will be the areas you see that are highlighted in the flood watch mainly along and south of US 24. A band of moderate to heavy snow accumulations is possible along and north of US 24 in the areas that will be under a winter storm watch. Travel impacts to the Friday midday and evening commutes are likely in the areas where snow falls with snowfall rates up to one to two inches per hour. The important updates to note are that we have updated snow totals and rainfall amounts. As for the precipitation onset timing, it is important to note that the precipitation will start as rain across the area during the Friday morning commute hours. Precipitation will move in from south to north between 7 a.m. and noon on Friday. Precipitation will start as rain and then transition to heavy snow across the northern and western sections of our forecast area by late morning. Precipitation will continue to fall as rain in the southern and eastern portions of the area throughout the day on Friday. Now as for the band of heavy snow that is possible on Friday and into Friday evening, you can see the snowfall map on your screen shows up to three to six inches of snow accumulation possible in the winter storm watch area with the highest totals being near the Indiana-Michigan state line. There is low to medium confidence in exact snow amounts with uncertainty in where the snow rain line will set up. Snow liquid ratios of between six to eight to one are expected. This will be a wet, slushy, heavy, and dense snow. Travel impacts are likely for the Friday evening commute with potential snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. And now with the heavy wet nature of the snow, this should limit the extent of blowing and drifting, but the strength of wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour will likely cause blowing and drifting in open and rural areas. As for the increasing flooding potential across the southern and eastern portions of the area, flooding is possible in low-lying areas along rivers and streams and in flood prone areas. The forecasted liquid equivalent precipitation amounts are one to two inches. Over the past two weeks, it has been very active with rainfall amounts of three to five inches across much of the area. The ground is already saturated, so areas that see additional heavy rainfall on Friday could see additional rises in area rivers and streams as well as renewed flooding in low-lying or flood-prone areas. Many area rivers and streams are forecast to go into minor or even moderate flood stage by the weekend. There is also going to be a period of windy conditions late tonight into Friday, with the strongest winds on Friday afternoon and evening gusting up to 45 miles an hour. Strong easterly winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts 40 to 45 miles an hour will develop by Friday by midday. The wind gusts will diminish late Friday evening into early Saturday morning, and a combination of strong wind gusts Friday and the potential for heavy wet snow across the north and western half of the area could lead to power outages. As for our forecast confidence, you can see on the left, we have high confidence in the timing of the event, medium to high confidence in heavy rain and flooding, low to medium confidence in snow amounts, and high confidence in wind gusts 40 to 45 miles an hour. There is high confidence in the timing of the event with most of the rain and snow accumulation from Friday morning onward through early Friday evening. There's lower confidence in snow amounts, especially across the central portions of our area where the rain snow line will set up. There's higher confidence in heavy rain and flooding across the southern and eastern portions of the area 
where precipitation should remain mainly rain throughout the day on Friday, and there is high confidence in strong gusty winds. There are also some alternate scenarios as we do have this multifaceted system moving through on Friday. Slight changes in the storm track could shift the rain snow line to the north or the south. If the system tracks further north, much of the area will receive rain and thus a greater flood potential will materialize. If the system tracks further south, much of the area will receive snow. Travel impacts and power outage concerns will materialize across a greater portion of the area. With this system moving through, bringing both potentially heavy snow and heavy rainfall, here are some tips you can use for driving on the road if you are in an area that will receive snow. You're gonna to need to pay attention if there are snow plows on the road as you do not need to crowd the plow because the road behind an active plow is actually safer to drive on than trying to pass the plow or drive in front of them. You also need to make sure that you change the way that you drive. Make sure to take it slow on the roads, especially if the roads are wet, snowy, or icy. Don't use your cruise control or brake quickly. Now, as for portions of the area that are going to receive heavier rainfall and there's less of a concern for snow, this is where we expect to see higher confidence in flooding. Now remember, when roads are flooded, turn around, don't drown. 12 inches of water can sweep a car off the road. It is now 3.15 on March 2nd, 2023. Thank you for joining me for this multimedia briefing. Forecast information could change in the coming hours, so be sure to check back to our website, weather.gov IWX for the latest forecast information.